In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logo animation in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, go ahead and create a new Fusion composition. Let's call this logo. Hit create and simply just go over to this composition. And first of all, go ahead and create a background. So here we have a background. Let's go ahead and change the color to this. So just go ahead with the gray color like this. Now I have a logo image over here. You can go ahead and import your logo over here. So go ahead and drag this in the node section and connect it with the background over here. And this will create a merge node. Here we have our logo. And what we need to do right now is go ahead and copy this and paste this over here and then make sure that you connect it by pressing shift on your keyboard. And when you see the blue line, just leave this and this will connect it. And now we have a duplicate of that logo. Now, what we need to do next is drag a background and go ahead and drag this rectangle. So connect it with your background and go over to the rectangle. Set the width to 0 0.7 and the height to 0 0.02. Now connect it with the nodes and you will see that we have a line. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create masks for both of these logos. So let's go ahead and drag this polygon tool. First of all, I'm going to create it for this first image of our logo. And for that, I'm going to just remove this second one for now so that we can do this in a better way. So let's go ahead and attach this and draw these points on your screen like this. And here you can see we have our logo now visible as a semicircle. And we're going to do the same thing for the second one. So now let's go ahead and connect this and add another polygon tool connected with this median and go ahead and create points for this as well. Like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and animate this line. So over at 10, go ahead to your rectangle and create a keyframe at width, then at zero, set this to zero. So this will give you an animation like this. And now what we need to do is go over to spline, select the width, make sure you select both the keyframes key and hit S on your keyboard. Now, one other thing that I want to show you is if you press Control T on your keyboard, you will get an option of ease in and ease out over here. So let's go ahead and change the ease in to 50. And this is a better way to set your ease in and ease out. So we're going to be using this. Okay, now let's see how this looks. So you can see we have a smooth animation. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the position of this logo. So first of all, let's go over at 50 and create keyframes at center at merge one, as well as this merge. Now, now let's come back at 30 and change the position of these. Like this. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. Now let's go over at spline and over here you can select your merge nodes. Let's select both of these and hit S on our keyboard and then also change the ease in from this. So now let's see how the animation looks. So here you can see it looks very nice. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is go over at 10. And over here, let's go ahead and add a rectangle and connect it with merge one. So this will act as a mask. Let's go ahead and increase the width of this and set it over here. And let's move this. Okay, so now at merge at 30, we already have our keyframe at center. So let's go ahead and set another keyframe at 25 and at 15, let's go ahead and move this. We'll make sure that this width ends at this line. 
So now let's go ahead and create a keyframe at 25. So right now we have a keyframe of merge at 25. Let's go at 10 and then move this behind this black line. And if you play this, you'll see that we are revealing in the logo from this side. And we're going to do the same thing for the second logo as well. So let's go ahead and add this rectangle. Let me move this a bit. And let's go ahead and connect it with this merge as well. Let's go ahead and change the, first of all, go ahead and change the width. Then go ahead and change this to position this over here. And now let's go over at merge, set a keyframe at 25. And let's go over at 10 and make sure that you are slightly ahead of 10 so that there is a different animation. And just go ahead and change this. And now let's go ahead and play this. Okay, so here you can see that we are seeing a line over here. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is not visible. Okay, so now this looks fine. So now let's go ahead and see how this looks. So this looks fine. And let's go ahead and change the, the settings of the ease in. Over here, we have the keyframes. Let's go ahead and select these keyframes. Hit S and on our keyboard and change the ease in to 50. So now let's see how this looks. So this looks fine. And now let's go ahead and hide this black line once this logo is connected together. So over here at 50, let's go ahead and create a keyframe at 55 in this rectangle. So set the keyframe out at width and then at 65, set this to zero. Now let's go over to spline, select the width, select both of these and then change the ease out to 64. So now let's see how this looks. So here you can see this looks amazing. And one other thing that I want to show you is, let's go ahead and add a blur effect right here when they are, we are connecting both of these logos. So right here at 35, let's first of all go ahead and hit control space on our keyboard and select box blur. And now let's go ahead and connect it with our merge. So first of all, go over at 40, set a keyframe at 0 0.25, come back at 35 and set this to 0. And then at 45, go ahead and set this to 0 once again. And now let's play this. So here you can see we have a nice looking animation. So this is how you can create animation effects in DaVinci Resolve for your logo. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.